Okay. Um, how we start class is thinking about being aware of what are the possible faults. So last we have this folded leaf. Everyone's done folded leaf already. Got that nice strata pike. If the strata pike isn't deep, she falls, she slides down, right? So keep that strata pike super deep. Um, falling this way could happen, but then you have your hands here to push, always push them back this way. Uh, more than likely, it's going to be, I think, a side to side fall. If there's a fall, don't just keep your legs straight and drop her, bend your knees a bit, push your arms straight. The point is to get her torso up before, um, I'm sorry, the point is to get her feet low and her torso high. So if she's falling, my legs will bend, but my arms will push up. So she's upright up more. Okay. In, out. Okay, so Laffy Taffy will look like this. Watch my feet. A common mistake, I think, is the feet are a little too shallow. It doesn't really, I think, uh, give your flyer enough of a shelf to feel comfortable. Sometimes you also can slip off of it, so that's why you want to wrap really deep around the butt like that. A tight end, okay? From here, I'm simply going to take my flyer's arms, help her fold her elbows together to where her hands will grab her own elbow like this. It looks like that, right? And then with my hand here, on the same side, if this is my right hand, this is her side on the same side, I'm simply going to turn my palm facing me. The common mistake is your face this away. Turn it towards you. Grab her bicep. You can push her body this way, but to make it easier for you to get there. Push it to the side, grab her bicep, slip it in between her head there, like that. Just grab her bicep and then push her straight out this way. Like that. And that'll stretch her side there. To improve this stretch, you want to be able to grab her bicep, push her out, but also tuck this, the back of the forearm, on the back of her neck there. So feet it back like that. So what that does, and sometimes the hair will get caught, so uh, be mindful of how your fingers are catching the, your flyer's hair. The back of the forearm hits the back of the neck, you just push straight out like that. And it stretches this and then that. Keep in mind when you're pushing your flyer out to one side, the weight's going to want to fall this way. So if she falls, bend your knee, and the distance isn't so high. And because you're bound, it's also dangerous for the flyer to get hurt too. So when the flyer, if you're falling, stay down and flyers be aware so you can let go and put your hands onto the ground. Okay? So again, demonstrating up, the toes around out, grabbing her own elbows, and pushing her to the side, grabbing her bicep, palms facing me, my, the back of my forearms is on the back of her neck, pushing out. And sometimes this is really deep on the flyer's shoulder, so depending on you as the flyer, you can communicate to your base how that feels on your shoulder on this side. You're pushing straight out, there. And being mindful of falling this way because you're, all the weight is shifting over to this side. So you want to be really mindful of your midline on your right leg. Now lastly, to add to this, I can create an arching motion this way with this arm. I'm pushing out and then I'm arching up back this way. I'm pulling her towards me. So what that does is it gives her a twist in the spine as well as a side stretch there. So again, I'm pushing out and then I'm basically pulling in this motion while pushing my elbow this way. So I'm kind of giving that kind of swooping motion this way, twisting. And with this hand, I can push on her back and pull it back, push it down this way. And this arm's go that way. So creating this nice twist. And demoing from the other side. Same thing, palm facing me, grabbing the bicep. And if the bicep's too high for you, grab a little lower towards the shoulder, somewhere around there. The point is to be able to bring the back of your forearm towards the back of her neck there. I'm pushing to the side. I'm giving her a little bit of this twist. I'm pulling her arm this way while pushing my elbow that way. So like a little bit of a, a little bending motion there. Kind of like I'm doing a little curl, curling towards me, 
and then this hands on her shoulder blade and push in the opposite direction. A lot of moving parts there. And um, you can even let go of this leg and then have them twist them down this way. Um, so work on this first. Remember, as you're pushing them over, your midline wants to collapse that way. So make, be very mindful of this leg, whichever leg that the weight's on. Get there first, creating that tension. Be mindful of falls. If there's a fall, stay down so your fly can unbind. Bend your knees and keep them upright. Any questions before we get started? Yes, bending the knee um, adds to the twist. So for right now, just keep your legs straight. Once you feel really comfortable, we can add that bend, uh, bend at knee in, okay? So, so she asked about the bent knee. Really good, uh, good question. So we're here in folded leaf. Let's go back to the hippie twist, something we've done already. Hands behind the back. Let's go hands behind the back end. Like that, yes. So we've done this one already. Hippie twist looks like this. Were you also binding your legs, Magda? Yes. So you remember this. That, that little leg bend, what that does is it creates a nice torque in the, the twist in the spine. So you can, while you're doing the, see that pop? <laughs> while you're doing the, that Laffy Taffy stretch, you can also play with keeping your arms straight, but then bending your legs and that adds to the twist and adds to the stretch. Okay, we'll come out, hand to hand. I'm pushing up to get her torso upright first, then I'm bending my feet to get her feet down on the ground. 